Well, a bit of an odd uh, start to the month. A weird day. I was very happy with the way the horses worked. Uh, disappointed. I just watched Lovers play, make a break for seemingly no reason in uh, Oak Grove. And I know I'm going to get a mountain of emails. Uh, you know, what are we doing with her now? Are you going to sell? So one of our, a couple of our clients wanted to wanted to sell her, and I'm not selling her right now. I'm going to stay the course for a little while, and uh, I'm sure anybody that wants out Lovers play free to get out. I'm sure there'll be shares purchased and sold. As per usual at the stable, you're, you're welcome to do that. And I'm sure there will be some that will do that. Indeed, I, there's no lameness issue with her. I wish I could tell you why she made a break. I was so elated last week when she qualified well and for her to come out and make a break today was just dis disappointing. It was disappointing. So, uh, what next? We have options. We can re-qualify her. We can um, bring her back up this way and put her in in the meadows maybe we can race her in Northfield we can race her in Ontario there doesn't seem to be any shortage of speed or ability uh, and the brakes are a little shocking because she trained down so well and you know when she made the break on me and this is what happens when you don't have your head in a swivel and you make a mistake I shouldn't have left with her as hard as I did and now you see the cascade of events that took place because of that I had to qualify wasted a week got her requalified get her back in to go, makes a break. Now at least one, if not two weeks are wasted. So you, you see um, sometimes what the, the bigger things that are at stake, right? And the mistakes, how, how major they can be when they seem so minor. And just not, just leaving with her a little bit more than I should have and not racing her from off the pace. Again, as I said, you can see where that has led now. Put us in a very tough position. So um, I guess big picture it's a break there's not much more we can do about it little picture i'm i'm going to stay the course on lovers play and that's and that's that now um got the bills out today there's been some glitches with the system and and uh just everybody is is work thin right wendy you guys know any of you that have dealt with wendy know how diligent how hard how hard she works at the stable and it's been a process i help with the bills today if there's any if there's any mistakes uh, with the bills, please let me know, um, and I'll work to rectify the best we can. Listen, there's going to be some changes moving forward at the stable uh, on the system side, and we're slowly trying to integrate some of those. And <laughs> it's not like a wheelbarrow and a fork, I can tell you that. So bear with us, please, and, and give us a little patience. Have a little patience if you don't mind. And if you want to vent, vent to me. It's ultimately, it is my doing so uh that is that we are i'm doing my best to get everything going today we're trying to do some of the book, book work on the back end on the front end i had to go to the barn today i wanted to train some horses i told you any of the horses that look lackluster i'm going to help them shape uh come right up into shape and polish up nicely over the next two three four five weeks and uh, there'll be some heavy lifting for some horses so today lt troubadour trained today i went with him i put the hobbles on him felt a little soft in the corners the other day um, and I, I just wanted to maybe clamp down on clamp down on him a little bit let him know that it's it's work time uh, February is long over and it's time to go to work um, same as I trained Flashfly today now you guys know that she kicked over kicked the rider out of the jog cart is what she did uh, two weeks ago and it scraped herself up a little bit so it missed some time I wanted to get her back on track today I trained her a mile and a half, a very stiff mile and a half. In fact, I asked him to draw her blood in the morning just to make sure she didn't tie up a little bit. 211 uh, off a half and 108, so a good mile for her. What will that lead to? A qualifier at some point, whether that be Thursday at Northfield Park or Tuesday, next Tuesday at the Meadows. I'm probably leaning towards the latter. We'll see how that plays out. Um, what else did I go with today? I went with... Uh, LG Troubadour I went with uh, High High Hopes today she was really really good I was really happy with High High Hopes I went with one of Kaylee's too who did I go with uh, oh Pelican Owl I went with Pelican Owl now some of the diagnostic work I said uh, Dr. Latessa had done on him had, it, it really helped helped a lot now he's not perfect still found him running in a little bit still found him a little bit more than I like to see right front finishing up his mile a little right hind starting out his mile and that right there in a nutshell is a problem with Pelican Isle's gate is that he has two little issues 
Dr. Atessa believes it's stifle, and I think we both are on the same page in, say, in saying it's likely his knee to it. You know, he is a two-year-old training down. Is it acute? No. No, it's not like lameness, soreness, but it's present. So we're trying our best to try and nip two issues in the bud at any given time. They probably feed off one another too a little bit. So it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, the easy thing to do would just be say, hey, we'll just turn him out in the field and let nature take its course. That's a possibility. Absolutely a possibility. But we're going to un uncover a few stones before we do that. He actually trained well today. I liked what I saw from Pelican Al. His attitude is on point. Uh, I end up going a mile on 27, so he is right on top of everybody else as far as speed or work or work ethic. Um, exactly where I wanted to see him at today. Not without our faults and not without stuff that we can't work on, but I was very, very happy with what I saw from him today. So hi, I hope's very good a mile in 222. She made a break on Saturday. She's been making breaks, but I can see exactly what is going on. Uh, a few little little turns here and there, and, and we'll get her squared away properly. But what I loved about her today, she was happy to do her work. And you can tell when they're playing, when they're pulling up and they're throwing their head and they get their ears up, they're pleased with their work also, right? It's not like they have a number of jobs to do. And, and this is just one that makes them happy. This is their job. And sometimes they are very, very happy when they're doing it well too. So high, high hopes. I liked her attitude. I liked her outlook today when I had pulled her up, how she was behaving. Um, and then LT Troubadour, he got a good workout today. Another two or three stiff workouts for him and I think you're gonna see him come forward in a big way. So that's what I was at today. Um, you may notice a little different surrounding that is the trailer in behind me. I am on my way, it's about five o'clock. I didn't wanna leave, uh, so on the back of that trailer, we got a full load, five horses on the back of that five horse trailer. Arson is in the back, pickpocket, memory and imagination. JK Victory is there, as is uh, as is Gypsy Hill. Now we are gonna qualify uh, Gypsy Hill tomorrow. We are gonna qualify JK Victory tomorrow. We are gonna qualify uh, Arson tomorrow and memory and imagination. We're going to school pickpocket tomorrow. So, as I said, I've looked forward to this day all week long leading up to this. Last week, I knew this was taking place. Then when I knew Kings County did not get in at Oak Grove, I was happy. I knew that we were going to be able to, uh, we were going to, be able to get this done. So, really happy to be qualifying them tomorrow. So, uh, not just at Oak Grove today, a little disappointing, as I said, with the break with Lover's Play, but... Uh, we also have Yo Mister racing tonight, and we have our other boy Spitfire Overseas is racing at uh, Miami Valley. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to continue on my way. I'm about 20 minutes out from from the Meadows, uh, offload these guys. I wanted to leave in the afternoon, let them have their lunch, and lay down for an hour and a half. I got there, and all well, three of them were laying down. Uh, but get here tonight. We'll walk them off the trailer, let them get acclimated and then uh, they'll get their supper later on this evening. So, and keep an eye on them. But it seemed like everybody, Gypsy Hill's a little bit of a bugger in the back of the trailer. I can hear him every time we were, when I was slowed down going through the tolls or, or getting onto the highway, I could hear him kicking or striking at the trailer. I don't know if that's normal for him, but I suspect with his demeanor it is. He was a stud up until a week and a half or two weeks ago. So it's not shocking, but everybody else, it seems to be a smooth ride otherwise. So we'll be here soon. Uh, I will talk to you guys later on. Nah, I won't talk to you tonight. You don't need to talk to me tonight or hear from me tonight. But I will uh, have a video for you tomorrow morning. Unless things go awry in the last two, then I won't talk about it at all. But I will talk to you. Win, lose, or draw, no matter what happens at the qualifiers tomorrow, you'll have an extensive recap of what takes place tomorrow in Washington, Pennsylvania. So I'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful night. Good luck to the last two racing. Good luck to all my partners take care and as I said if there's any issues with the bills that uh, would be on me please let me know and I'll uh, I'll work to get that rectified um, quickly for you it's never easy is it take care have a wonderful day enjoy the sun if it's sunny wherever you are take care